So, this is uh, uh, an interesting interview because I've, I've never had the pleasure of calling our next guest minister. Well, we're going to do that right now. The Minister of Public Works and Infrastructure, Patricia Delol, is with us this morning on the line. And uh, we're going to be chatting to her about her appointment. Minister, thank you for joining us. And most importantly, congratulations on your position. Uh, thank you, Leanne. We so we, we I must say I, the, the whole country was taken aback and surprised by the appointment. I, I, everybody was speaking about this. How did you feel? I mean, I know we've heard about you receiving a phone call late in the afternoon. You never saw this coming. But what was going through your mind? Well, when your country's president uh, calls and asks you to serve, uh, it becomes very difficult uh, not to agree especially when we have a president that inspires hope to our nation and, and asking you to, to serve. It was for me a great honor, and I'm, and I'm truly humbled by, by the request. Um, you know, I have pledged my support in a constructive way to President Ramaphosa and the country, um, and I will continue to fight for a responsible accountable and for a caring government. Mm -hmm. So it's a great opportunity, Leanne, um, for all of us to begin to also ask the question, what can I do for my country? Because we, we must now speed up uh, transformation and change in our country. Yeah. Did you have any doubts at all when, when, you, when you were asked to take up a ministerial position? Did you sort of think, yeah, the responsibility is great, however... I have a new party, it's just been formed, we've got issues that we need to deal with on the ground. Maybe I shouldn't take it. Did that ever enter your mind? No, certainly um, it, it, it did not enter my mind at that point because I always knew that the project that we started just four months ago was to send out a message to all South Africans that if good people do nothing, that is when evil and corruption and all of these things thrive in our country. But I do have a good team, uh, and we have got a strategy and a plan uh, to participate in the 2021 elections. And uh, the team will be assisting me, Leanne. So I'm not altogether alone. Yeah. Uh, it is going to be finding the balance between the, 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 the two demands. But I'm, I'm, I'm not really worried about it. I know that I'm capable, that the people around me are capable, and we will continue to build good. I will continue to be the leader of good. Yeah. You know, I, I, I saw one of the immediate reactions, and I suppose it shouldn't really be too much of a surprise, um, from the former party that you were a part of, and then, of course, the official opposition, um, the DA, Musi Maimani, as soon as you were appointed, went and said, well, that was a well-executed ANC campaign to put you into, the, the, into a ministerial position. What do you think about that? I mean, what do you make of a comment like that? You know, I, I always think about the words of um, Michelle Obama, who said, when they go low, you go high. And uh, really, I'm not bothered by it, because these are people who do not care about the people of this country. It's all about themselves. It's all about, you know, the party. Instead of sitting back and doing some introspection and saying, what have we done wrong as the DA? Because we've lost all, over half a million votes. But um, I will not go down to their level, mm -hmm. Leanne. I've got a job to do. I have to remain focused to serve the people of our great country. Yeah, obviously it's still early days. There's, there's. I mean, you, you're. I'm sure, as as I spoke to you before we went on air, you, you you said you're exhausted. It's been a whirlwind. You were told you're going to be a minister. You were announced as minister. You had two hours of sleep that night. You were sworn in yesterday. Um, and what happens now? Because. Don't you move into a new house? You get suddenly a whole bunch of cars. You get bodyguard protections. You're working in a brand new ministry. You've got to go and meet your staff. What do you do? Where do you begin? Well, it's, 
it's a quite a sharp learning curve for me. Um, and it started all last night already. I got home at half past 11. So um, what I'll, I'll be doing today is to start looking at how to hit the ground running uh, because this department is big. Yeah. Um, also, the president added infrastructure development to it. Um, and I will start work immediately. I think once you have a plan and you've got a strategy and, you know, especially that at least one plan that we all have consensus on in South Africa is our national development plan. And, of course, all the government policies is within the framework of that. And um, so my work starts immediately today. Um, and I will make a public announcement about um, the department itself once I have been able uh, to get some briefings, to meet the people who are there, the ex-minister. So it's going to be a very exciting time. Yeah, it certainly is. Um, again, I speak to um, your, your, your former colleagues, and let's talk to Helen Zilla for a second, because she, she took to Twitter, and her sort of congratulatory response to you, if, if we can call it that, was... Uh, Patricia DeLille, as Minister of Public Works, opens real opportunities, especially for Cape Town. For years, she, as Cape Town Mayor, and I tried in vain to secure the release of DPW land in well-located areas to build affordable housing to overcome spatial legacy of apartheid. Here is a real chance. So this is what she's had to say. Um, are you, I mean, how do you take that? Is that, a, is that a good way of welcoming you into the position? Well, uh, Helen Zilla did congratulate me on the position and we had a so short Twitter exchange about um, our experience together, uh, self as Premier and myself as Mayor, when we had a meeting with the then Minister of Public Works uh, to release some well-located land in Cape Town for affordable housing. And, and we never got a response thereafter. Yeah. So uh, Helen was simply reminding me to say, can you remember that meeting? Hopefully now we can talk about that land. So, uh, yes, she has been uh, um, very um, congratulatory, and, and I want to thank her for that. Yeah, yeah. Look, that, that's, that's great to hear because, you know, going into this position, you need all the support you can, and it is a vitally important portfolio. This is, a, is one of possibly the most difficult portfolios. How are you feeling? I mean, it, 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 I imagine it is quite daunting to go into well, you know, I think for me the more difficult something is, I always think about what Tata Madiba said. You know, everything seems impossible until it's done. And, and this is one of those moments, you know, when you get into something and you think, oh, this is a daunting task. Uh, but I always get inspired by his words, uh, not to give up even before you have tried. Uh, and I think with the help of all South Africans, of which I'm there to serve all South Africans, uh, the ideas, uh, Leanne, will come from ordinary people. I will yeah. consult with them. I will consult with my colleagues. And I think that is a South African way of doing things that, you know, when you're thrown into the deep end, uh, there are always people that can reach out for help. Yeah. You know, one of the, I, and I think I speak for a lot of South Africans, one of the, the nicest um, uh, um, a, a character points of yours is the fact that you are approachable, the fact that we feel like you are one of us. Now, going into a portfolio like this, this is something that touches the lives of a lot of people, and particularly when we talk to the state-owned land. And I know that that is I know it's so difficult to comment on what you're going to go in and do straight away, but uh, uh, from what I've gathered of a couple of reports that have come out, this is going to be the top priority of yours, is going in and dealing with the state-owned land. Uh, I think I, I, I depart from the principally end that um, state-owned land must, and public-owned land must be used for the public good. Yeah. And similarly, you know, state-owned uh, assets must also be used for the public good. Um, and, uh, and even though we've got a whole debate around uh, land expropriation without con uh, compensation, um, but, you know, we need to start with the state first and see what land the state has got and start distributing there. Because many of the um, uh, land, many pieces or parcels of well-located land is owned by government. 
And so government needs to say, what does government do in terms of leading um, the land uh, transformation project in the country, of leading by showing that land owned by government will be used for public good? And for me, that will be um, um, a, a departure point because that is also in our national development plan. And so it will not be that difficult. And it's just identifying the land, consulting with people what the land should be used for, um, how we can share the land, and then we can, we, we, we can move from there. You know, just as we, as we wrap up this conversation, you are not shy of being vocal about people, about things that do happen. But the one thing you notice is that once you're part of a, a, the bigger scheme of things, because now you, you're a minister, I mean, how do you speak out against your colleagues? If a, if a fellow minister is doing something that you are not happy with, if um, the ANC are not doing something that you are not happy with, how do you speak out? How are you going to balance this? Well, first of all, you know, we've got a history in this country of engaging. And, and no problem must be so big that, it, uh, that we are not able to sit down and talk to it. Um, I will offer constructive support, um, you know, to make sure that we, we, we get our country back onto track. I will continue to fight for um, responsible and accountable government. And, and, and we should not be afraid that when we see a colleague or even myself, uh, there are issues to approach each other and say that is not the way to do it. Um, you know, we've been drifting away from each other because we've not been talking to each other. And, and, and I will never shy away from um, approaching anyone if it's for the interest of the people of South Africa. Mm. Well, we wish you the best of luck. We uh, look Thank forward so to the much. good work that you are going to do ahead of you. And, uh, and of course, always a pleasure speaking to yes. our new minister. And uh, that, of course, is Patricia DeLille, who takes on the position of public works and infrastructure heading up that ministry. So I'm sure we'll be hearing from uh, Patricia DeLille a lot of times here on the program. All right, it's just gone 7 o'clock. Let's get uh, our news bulletin.